In this video we'll take a look at creating an interactive application that allows us to enter in the temperature of a few days, uh, five days worth of temperatures and give us the average as a result. And so I'll go ahead and create a new project and this is going to be a Windows form application and I'm going to go ahead and call this one just temperature and we'll go ahead and hit OK. And so what I'll need to do is create uh, five different labels and five different text boxes that are going to ask for the days of the week for the temperatures within the days of the week. So we'll go ahead and open up our toolbox. And what I'll need to do is click on a label. I'll double click a label as well as double click a text box as well as double click a button for us to use and you'll notice all of these objects are now located on my form. I'll move the button down, I've got a text box, and I've got a label. So now that I usually do this, what I'll do is I'll highlight the label, do a control C to copy it, and then do a control V, and what I'll do is paste five is in here for me to work with. And I'll just go ahead and move the labels so that they're aligned with each other. And do the same thing for our text box. I'm going to control C to copy it. I'm going to do a control V, control V, control V, control V. And it'll allow me to paste all five of my text boxes. Alright, now that we've got our labels and we've got our text boxes, it's time to change some of the attributes of these. I'll click on my first label and I'll scroll up and I've got the name. And I'm going to go ahead and prefix this with LBL and I'm going to go ahead and call this one Monday. That'll be my label for Monday. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and then scroll down and we'll need to change the text property as well. There we go. The text property for this one we'll just call this one Monday with a colon. And now that I'm done with this one, let's go to our next label, label 2. I'll select label 2. Come up to the top and we'll prefix this with LBL and then call this one Tuesday and then we'll scroll down and we'll call the text Tuesday with a colon and you'll see now that that gets changed to Tuesday do the same thing for our next three labels, I'll do that real quick once you have all of your labels so that the names have been changed and then also the text values have been changed, it's time to work with our text boxes I'll click here on my first text, go ahead and give this a name of txt is our prefix for our text box We'll call this one Monday, and we do not need to change the name property on this one as, as though we want this to be empty. So we're going to have Mondays, so I'll click on the next one down, call this one TXT Tuesday, and then we'll go ahead and go to the third one, TXT Wednesday, and we'll keep moving down the line here with the next two. So we want to go ahead and just type in TXT Thursday for the Thursday and TXT Friday for Fridays as well. And that gives us the names of all of our objects on the text boxes and the labels so far. And what we're also going to need to do is create a button here. Let's go ahead and copy this button or change the button's properties. We'll call this one CMD Calculate. And we're going to go ahead and go down to the bottom here and change the text property to just say Calculate. And then hit enter and you'll see your button's been calculated. Now we're going to need one more label to display the actual average temperature so I'll go ahead and copy control C then control V. It'll copy this uh, label that we've got here and we'll go ahead and change the properties of this new label. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the label, give this a name, we'll call this one LBL average and we'll set that text property down here to say the average I'll put, a sem I'll put a colon there. So I've got the average temp here. Now we're going to need to write some code. Now what we actually want to have happen is the user is going to type in the value within this first text box and then the second, third, fourth, and fifth. 
And then what we're going to want to do is hit calculate and actually calculate the average of those temperatures. And so what we're going to look to grab is the text property or the text value that's been put into this text box itself. I'll go ahead and double click on the calculate button. It'll take me to code view. And you can see that I've got CMD calculate click the event here created for us to work with in this, for this method. And so what we're going to do now is actually create some code. And I'll start by typing in the int to create an integer, we're going to work with pretty much just whole numbers in this particular application. So int, we'll call this one int Monday. This is going to be an integer called int Monday, and we're going to set this equal to. And so what I need to do now is take or extract out of here the whatever the user has typed into that text value, actually, when I hit calculate to actually do the math with. So I need to take that text value of the text box. And so we'll go ahead and I'm going to need to say convert dot two in 32 and this is going to take what's in the text box and convert it to a number by default whatever is typed in the text box is going to be treated as a string so I'm going to need to convert that here and then I'll put in parentheses the object that I want to convert and for this case it's going to be txt monday dot text and so I'll go ahead and end this here with a semicolon and hit enter and so you can see that I've got, this is the object, uh, the, the TXT Monday, that's our text box, the text value of it. Uh, and we want to take that or extract that out and use it as a number. So I've converted it to an int32. And then we're going to store that in this integer that variable that we've just, just created called int Monday. And I'll need to do the week. So I'll go ahead and paste or copy this and paste this and, and change these properties. So I just did a quick copy and paste and just copied my first line and changed it to int Tuesday, int Wednesday, int Thursday, and int Friday. And then changed my text boxes or text objects that I've got, txt Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, just paying particularly close uh, detail to the actual making sure that I've got Tuesday with Tuesday, Wednesday with Wednesday, Thursday, and Thursday, and Friday with Friday. And we don't want to confuse or mix up any of these because of copying and pasting. And so I've got that set up now. So what I'll do next is just create one more integer that's going to hold the total value. So I'll just say int int average is going to equal, and so we're going to just go ahead and calculate this average here. And I'll just type it in parentheses my int Monday plus my int Tuesday plus my int Wednesday plus my int Thursday plus my int Friday. I'll close that parenthesis and then divide that by 5 to get our average and I'll hit the semicolon and I'll end that. Hit enter. And so it's gone ahead and written here this. We're going to add all five of these up and put those in parentheses and then we divide by 5. So now that I actually have the integer value of it. Now for us to put it back uh, and use it for a text value of another object, I'm going to need to convert this back to a string. So we're going to create one more variable here to work with. We're just going to call this one, uh, it's going to be a string. So this is going to be string. I'm going to just call this one str average. So let's know we're working with a string. And we're going to convert our integer that holds our average to the string. So we're going to set this equal to convert dot we're going to say to string on this one the int average and we'll end that with a semicolon here and so what I'm doing is I'm taking the average that I've got that's a currently a number or an integer data type and we're going to convert it to a string and save it in the str average and this is so that we can actually put it back in the text property of another object and so the last thing we need to do now is actually if I go back over here to my design side, I've got the average temp currently listed right here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like for it to display the average temp. And so we'll go ahead and come back here. This object was called LBL average. So let's go ahead and come back into here. And we'll sell, say the LBL average dot text is going to equal and then in quotes, we'll go ahead and type in what we want. The average temp colon. And we'll end that here with the quotes. And I'm going to go ahead and use a plus sign for concatenation of my two strings. I've got the average temp 
and then I'm going to go ahead and use the str average and we'll go ahead and end that with the semicolon and so let's go ahead and run our application and see what happens we'll go ahead and do the debugging and so now here is my form and you can see that I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and I've got the average temp we'll go ahead and give ourselves some average temps here let's make them 60 degrees a 70 degree day say a 65 or and maybe we have a 50 degree day and we'll say another 70 degree day and if I now hit calculate it's going to go ahead and give me the average of those days and so you can see it's 63 degrees I'll go ahead and close this the last thing I'd like to do just to make it look a little bit better is on our form you can see where it says form 1 let's go ahead and click on the entire form object itself and we'll go ahead and give our form a name FRM temperature scroll down here and give the text property a name as well there we go temperature calculator and I'll go ahead and hit enter on that one so now when I run my application one more time you'll see there it is that I've got temperature calculator on the top and so now if we run it one more time it gives me an average temperature of 46 and it looks a little bit better so this concludes the video on creating an interactive application to take in the temperature of five different days and calculate the average